including a piece of text next to an image like this is a great way to present content on your website. It is a lot more compact and easily draws your reader's attention. So in this video, I'm going to share with you not one, not two, but three different methods to add picture side by side with text in WordPress without any plugin. So let's get into it. Okay, now I'm in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. For the first method, I'm gonna be using a blog called Media and Text. This is a blog that is available in every WordPress installation and you don't have to install any third-party plugin to get this feature. So let's go ahead and place the cursor here, type slash media and text, click on it, and you can upload a picture from your computer or you can also select a picture from your WordPress library. Let's say I'm going to pick this picture Click select and for the content i'm going to just copy and paste the text i have prepared for this tutorial and there you go you can also change the size of the image to something smaller for example i'm going to click on this control point and then slide it to the left so it's going to look something like that i think i want to put the setting to be around here that looks perfect you can also change the alignment of the image to be on the right on the left that's totally up to you. And if you go to the right hand side of the screen, you can adjust various settings like changing the resolution of the image. You can also go to styles and change the background to a different color. For example, I'm going to change it to orange to make it similar to the image. And there you go, that's perfect. And let's change the padding to be one RAM. All right, everything looks really great. Maybe the only downside of this method is that there aren't much you can do about the image. You cannot add shadow or the radius or border to this image. So this is kind of limited, but on the other hand, this is the easiest way to get a picture next to a piece of text in WordPress. All right, let's move on to the next method, which is by using the image block. So WordPress actually has a documentation about it. If you click on this page, you will see that there is a simple way to change the image size and adjust the alignment to the left or to the right and the text below it will automatically fill the empty area but unfortunately i cannot get the same result let me show you so type the image block here and let's select a picture select this picture and for the content i'm going to just copy and paste the previous text let's reduce the size to something like this and change the alignment to the left or to the right it's totally up to you i'm going to select align to the left and it will give me this result but apparently this is something that unique to every wordpress team some wordpress team might use the whole area to display the image and the text but some wordpress teams will just contain everything into this area similar to the previous method so unfortunately i cannot get the same result but i think you will get much better result at least something that is similar that wordpress is showing in their documentation all right let's move on to the third method for the third method i'm going to be using a columns block so this method is going to be a bit more complicated but it's actually still pretty easy and you will have a total control over the text and also the image so let me show you place the cursor here type slash columns click on it and select 50 50. there are two columns this is going to be the image and this is going to be the text but you can change the configuration to be this is going to be the image and this is going to be the text that's also possible so let's go ahead and add the image block and I'm going to select a picture from my WordPress library. And for the other column, this is going to be just a paragraph. Just copy and paste the content. As I mentioned earlier, the benefit of this method is that you will have much more customization available to make the whole structure a lot more attractive. For example, if I open the document overview, I can change the column property like changing the background to a completely different color. Let's select purple and change the transparency level to be maybe around this much. And I can also 
change the border radius for this column. Let's enter 12 pixel. And of course, I can add some shadow to make the whole structure a lot more apparent and attractive. And there you go. I think that looks perfectly amazing. And of course, you still have control over the image. You can change the aspect ratio. You can change the scale, the resolution, and also the body radius of the image. You can also add shadow to the image if you want to. And if you think about it, this is actually starting to resemble a product box in many websites. And you would be right because this is actually a simple version of product box in WordPress. And you can improve the design even further to make it even more appealing. So if you're running an Amazon affiliate website and you want to improve your CTR through a fantastic and good looking product box, then check out this video and I'll see you there.